Hey, what's up guys? My name is the channel. Welcome to episode 68 of Game Programming. So, today we're going to freaking make our little projectile. Okay, so last time we uh, we basically just, just took a look at basically, you know, retrieving this angle here. Um, and obviously it's given to us in radians, by the way. There are a few things I didn't really clear up that you guys might not have probably enjoyed um, last time. And basically what I didn't talk about is the actual difference between eight. I did cover the difference between a tan on a tan or and sorry a tan and a tan two right so you might notice that um math dot I'll just clear this up now math dot a tan just a tan only has one um variable and you guys were like oh sorry one parameter and you guys were like why is that and basically the reason is you just input it like this right so you just go dy divided by dx right as you would because it's the same thing right imagine this is tan minus one and then you put it in your equation here right this is just the same as your calculator as any scientific calculator really um here they divide it into two parameters and like as i mentioned in last um in the last episode and the reason they do that again is because it basically says if dx is zero then we cannot divide by dx you know because otherwise if we just try and do this now we will still get that error even before it goes into that um function right but if it's separated, then it just says, okay, divided by that only if that is not zero. If it's zero, then it just return something else. Okay, that's what it does. Cool. So that's ATAN. The other thing is, obviously, this is given to us in radians. Um, all our calculations will basically be done in radians. We probably will convert to degrees at one point or another. But um, again, conversion to degrees is actually possible in a bunch of different ways. I just like to um, basically say that, you know, it's just equal to der times 180 divided by math.pi that's just literally the maths um operation right so you could just do it that way and if i just display that here you'll see um that the angle here will actually reflect that um <clears throat> but is that even right i think that's right yeah that's right you could also do the good old math i think there's a math dot two degrees yeah there is that so um, you can do that as well, and you can see that that will uh, pretty much give us the same answer. So there's multiple ways to do it, but we'll talk about that in a, in a minute here. Um, and the reason, the other thing is, this is kind of wrong. I didn't realize that. I'm sorry. Um, I didn't make a mistake. So the width and height is obviously, you know, dependent on our scale because um, when we use the mouse um, functions to actually get the location of the mouse on the screen. Uh, it, it will get that location <clears throat> based off of this window, not off of our buffered image object. So in other words, our buffered image object, our buffered image is 300 by 168, but our window size is 900 by whatever the hell three times that is, okay? So we need to just make sure that we do that. So it's really 300 and we shouldn't do that. We should just use um, game.width times, that is the wrong width variable. Is this private? You know what, let's quickly, it is public, but I think we'll make it private and just make it get inside of just, just in case. So we'll make these all private. Um, and over here, I hope that doesn't create a million errors. No, it didn't. Awesome. And over here, we'll just add, we'll just quickly add a public static um, int called get width. You know, we'll return width times scale, okay? Um, public static int get height. And we'll return height times scale. All right, do like that. And what's up here? What? Where's it getting width from and scale from? Oh, damn. Um. Yeah. Okay. Get window width. I guess that's really annoying, isn't it? Because component. Sorry. Um. Canvas has a method call that okay that's fine I guess get window width and put it here so it'll just be <clears throat> game dot get window width divided by two and game dot get window height divided by two all right cool so that should now actually give us proper you know results um, and I think it is not 100% sure let's just quickly convert it back into um degrees so that we can actually uh, see what we're doing. Okay, so that's zero, good. That's 90, that's 180, 
and then we go back down to yeah okay that's brilliant that's correct okay so you can see that that's correct because um that's roughly zero you can see uh this is like 90 as it is this is 180 which is you know um just pi basically uh well the angle is pi pi radians um and then we just go the opposite way right so we go from negative down down to zero so yeah okay our angle our angles are absolutely correct now one thing you might notice here which i want to clean up today uh, is we are actually going to run out of time, aren't we? So this is just some amendments. I'll probably leave the actual projectile stuff for um, next episode, but don't worry because I'm making like an episode every day now, and you guys probably probably think I'm dying or something, but I promise you I'm not. I'm just <laughs> I've just had a bit more time, a bit more spare time, um, and I do enjoy the, doing this. So yeah. Um, <clears throat> so you might see here that we've got a bit of a problem. That is, if I actually move the mouse, and you can see I'm moving the mouse right now. I'm dragging it. I've clicked and I'm dragging it. This is not updating, right? Um, we, we actually have to release and then click, and then it'll update, right? That's not cool, okay? We want it to be able to drag. Um, and that's really easy to fix. If we go into our mouse class, all we need, all we need to do here is, um, here in mouse drags, we can just set mouse x equal to e dot get um, x. And the reason we have to do that again is because mouse moved is just when we, when we move our mouse, right? Um, but if we actually click and drag, it, it doesn't run this, it runs this instead. So, yeah. So if we do that, and then we go back into our, well, we don't need to go back to anything. If we run it, then you can see that as I move, it'll update pretty much on the spot. So yeah, anyway, those are some, those are just some basic um, things that I wanted to fix. Uh, this is just basically fixes from last episode. Um, but yeah, that's basically gonna be the, um, you know, how we roll. I'll see you guys tomorrow though with the projectile stuff. So we'll actually, you know, animate something on the screen t tomorrow, probably. Anyway, until then, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.